Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I wanna show you a pretty awesome workaround I've figured out to get your chords in your MIDI regions up into the chord track. And I don't mean MIDI regions that have the chords already in uh, the region as region chords, like loops that you drag in. Uh, and I don't mean uh, creating a chord progression and then dragging it down and having those chords there and then dragging it back up. That's what I don't mean. That is all you know, old news. We've we've known that we can do that already. What I mean is taking a MIDI region like this, where I've just played in some chords and adding these to the chord track. Now, just a little bit of background information. Logic does have the ability to analyze your MIDI chords in real time. If you uh, play any MIDI at your keyboard and just look up here at the LCD display, it'll tell you what the chord is. So that's a D flat six. That's a B major seven with an added 13th. So it's able to analyze chords. And if you go into any MIDI region, you can drag over MIDI notes and it'll tell you right up here what the chord is. So that's E minor seven. This one is D seven. And then the next one is C major seven. So Logic has this ability, but why can we not just create chords and add them to the region? And why can we not just drag MIDI regions up to the chord track? I don't know those answers, but in previous versions of Logic, older versions of Logic, I can't remember what the version number was. It was like seven or six. There was an option to analyze the chords in a region and they're act the chord track actually existed in earlier versions of Logic. They took it out and then added it back in. The way I'm gonna show you how to do this is, is a workaround that I just figured out by trial and error. Um, I think this is a pretty big deal. I don't know that anyone has actually shown this on YouTube or on the internet. I'm not claiming to be the first person to figure this out, uh, but I have figured out a workaround that will allow you to get your MIDI recordings up here in the chord track. So let me show you how to do that. So first and foremost, just play in some chords. I highly recommend uh, either quantizing these to the bar line, so at least the first part of the chord is on the bar line, or I recommend turning on MIDI chase so that when you start playback at a certain bar or a certain beat, that the uh, chord actually plays. If you don't know how to turn on MIDI chase, just go up to file project settings MIDI, and then from here, you're gonna go to chase and then make sure to turn on chase notes. Normally, if I create a chord here, in the chord track. By the way, if you don't know how to get the chord track, press G to open up your global tracks and then right click or control click up here and make sure the chord track is shown. If you double click on a chord, there is an option for MIDI input. So if you wanna just play a chord, it will input that chord. And it does a pretty good job of analyzing the chord that you play in, but that means that you have to do this, you know, one chord at a time with your MIDI keyboard. What if you have an existing MIDI region that you want to get up here? And I'm sorry for all the little side tangents. Uh, I think these are all very important to optimize this workflow and do it as quickly as possible. But there is a shortcut to create a chord in the chord track uh, or a key command rather, but there is no shortcut assigned to it normally. And so what I've done is I've used the shortcut cut control option command C and I've created a custom key command or a custom shortcut for that. So you go up to Logic Pro, go to key commands, edit assignments, and you're going to search up chord and you're going to look for this function, create chord. And then you just click learn by key label and then type in whatever your custom key command is. So for me, that was control option command C. Okay. So let's get back to this uh, control option command C. We'll create a chord. And if I go to MIDI input and turn that on, if I press play, nothing happens. The MIDI region is not talking to the chord track. Fortunately enough, we can fix that. On this track, select that track and bring up your track inspector. From here, you're gonna go to the internal MIDI in and you're going to select the instrument that you are working on. So for me, it's just the only one, piano, studio, piano. And then down here where it says record, uh, there's actually two different options. Both of these will work, but I'm gonna use internal MIDI in. And then watch this. If I create a new chord, and then I turn on MIDI input and press play.
Now, there are some spots where I have overlapping chords where it doesn't quite know what to do, but it's analyzing the chords in real time in the chord track. So this is huge. Like I said, I don't know that anyone has done this. I don't know. I have not seen a video where someone has demonstrated this, but I'm sure I'm not the first one to figure this out. Uh, but this is really cool. So now the next question is, how do we get these chords into the chord track? Well, as long as you turned on that MIDI chase and you made that custom shortcut for create chord, this is gonna make it really easy. What I recommend doing is setting your bar, uh, setting your snap to bar or beats. Essentially, you're gonna have to do this like, at, you know, whatever your subdivision of your chord rhythm is, right? So this is mostly whole notes and I've got a couple of half notes here. Um, so I'll put this on beat for now. And then I'm just gonna at bar one here, press my key command to create a chord, turn on MIDI input and press play. Okay, I've learned that chord hit return, and I'm done. Let's tab over, not tab over, uh, it's the uh, comma and period keys or the left and right greater than less than brackets that allows you to tab left and right one bar at a time. And I'll create another chord. And then I will turn on MIDI input and play the next chord. There it is, return. And then I will uh, move over, create a new chord, turn on MIDI input, play the chord. There it is hit return, move over. Let's uh, learn another one. There it is. And you can see there, it was uh, picking up some notes from like the previous chord. Uh, this next one is on uh, beat three of bar four. So I'll set that there. Let's create a new chord, turn on MIDI input. There's the chord. Let's move over to the next bar, create a new chord, turn on MIDI input, hit return, move over and we'll do it again for the final chord. And there we go. And now I have a chord track that was derived from a MIDI region that I played in. So that's really cool. So now what this means is I can add in session players. Maybe I wanna add in a bass player to follow along with this. So not the you know most amazing musical arrangement in the world, but at least you're able to take real MIDI recordings that you've played in and get them up into the chord track without having to type them in one by one. And sometimes, again, if you're not really like trained in music theory, you might just be playing by ear. You may not even know the name of the chord that you're playing. And so this can assist you in uh, analyzing your chord progressions as well. Now, once you do this, just make sure to go to that MIDI track and go to that internal MIDI in and go ahead and turn that off because uh, that can cause some other MIDI uh, routing issues in the future. But yeah, that's a workaround, really the only workaround I know of at this point to take a MIDI recording and convert it into chords that you can add into the chord track. I really hope that in Logic 11.3 or maybe even in the 11.2.1 update, whenever that is, that they add this uh, analysis feature back in. I mean, in a perfect world, I would love to just be able to drag a MIDI region up here and call it a day, just like you can with the, you know, with the uh, session players and other MIDI regions that have chords on them or bare minimum an ability to select a MIDI region, right click, go down to chords and then select, you know, analyze chords or add region chords or create region chords or something along those lines. Whether we have to do it here in the tracks area or even down in the piano roll editor, it doesn't really matter to me. Logic has the ability to analyze chords. And I think this is a feature that they really need to add in uh, as soon as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.